What's going on guys? Welcome back to Peak Performance. It is day two of the Hot Rod Power Tour and uh, this morning we're going to be departing from our hotel here uh, in about 10 minutes. So right now we're in Memphis, Tennessee. We've got to drive today about 240 miles. So it's probably going to be four-ish hours uh, to get over to Lebanon, Tennessee. And I think it's like the Nashville Super Speedway or something. <laughs> Today there's not going to be any kind of autocross going on. I think they have the mobile dyno, which we're not going to do because we did it yesterday. Uh, so today basically is just going to be kind of a big car show, I think. Uh, we did not get to check out like the vendor row yesterday, so we're going to check out all the vendors today is kind of the plan. And then tomorrow when we drive to Hoover, Alabama, uh, they are going to have some autocross at Hoover, so we're going to definitely do that. And uh, there's no drag racing this time until uh, I think Friday, but we're going to miss that. So we're not going to get to drag race, which sucks. I was hoping we would, uh, but uh, two times of autocross and that should be a lot of fun. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get with the group and we're going to take off. We're going to do the actual tour route. So we should be kind of cruising for the next four hours with, you know, all tons of these uh, cold, old cars, hot rods, all this fun stuff. So let's do it. It's going to be another hot one today in the mid nineties. All right. And we are going to be taking off. Let's go, day two. Check out this badass 63 Falcon. It's even got like fender flares like my Mustang had, but they painted them. It actually looks pretty sweet. And then they retrofit an entire SN95 hold kind of dash console. So that's pretty freaking awesome. They did a great job too. Look at that. Nicely finished. This thing's badass. Look at the interior, Pops. So here's what all the gas station stops are like when you're on high ride power tour. Look at this. It's like a freaking car show, dude. And there's like a ton of cars over here. It's freaking awesome. All right, so I'm just filling up with some gas. Just pumped in about 86 bucks at 5.59 a gallon for premium. So it's not too bad. We got about uh, 150 miles to go. So uh, not too not too far. So we're just gonna keep on cruising. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun cruising with all these cars because you're kind of driving, being able to spot different cars and kind of move in and out between them. So it makes it a lot more fun than uh, the drive down, for example, where it was just you know normal driving. So it's pretty awesome. Just filled with car guys, just bullshit and talking to people. It's freaking awesome. So definitely come out and do these high ride power tours. It's a good good time. So this is kind of the coolest part, I think, of the power tours when you get into the small little cities, little tight roads like this. It's almost like you're on the, the Woodward Dream Cruise, but you're, uh, you know, you're sitting here and uh, you're on part of the tour. It's, it's freaking awesome. And then people just come and they camp out all day. I mean, all along the sides of the road, you know, uh, taking Same pictures. For, uh, Woodward. Yeah, so I mean, it's kind of like, it's like part Woodward Dream Cruise, part multi-day car show part racing event you know it's freaking awesome like, yeah bro look at this guy yeah dude <laughs> yeah yeah so uh yeah see look we're just having fun out here man and uh living the dream living the dream beautiful all right so we were rolling and we came across sonic here pop said he's never been to sonic so we had to do a classic pull in action plus we got a bunch of the cars from the tour right here anyway so we're getting a couple huge ass shakes it's going to be about six thousand calories probably it's going to be awesome but uh yeah, a lot better day today. It's supposed to be the same weather as yesterday, like 98 degrees, but I feel like the humidity is way less, so it's not uh, definitely not as bad. But uh, I think we're, our ETA is still about one o'clock, so we still got a couple hours at least until we get to uh, to the venue, and then it'll just be kind of a car show day, hanging out, and then go check out our hotel. Cheesecake Oreo Blizzard shake thing. It's gonna be awesome. Look at how big this thing is, man. All right, you guys, so it is one o'clock. We've been driving for five hours and we still got an hour left. So we ended up following the uh, you know the power tool route. Whereas if we would have just went straight to the venue, it would have been like a three and a half hour drive. But um, you know, following the, the route and all that stuff, taking way, way longer, but we have seen some cool kind of downtown areas. So kind of the scenic route. So it's been pretty nice, pretty comfortable with our AC and all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully we're, staying on track to get there because yeah we're gonna get there at two o'clock so probably but again there's not much to do so we'll probably just get there park check out some cars and then uh, head over to our hotel and check in all that stuff figure all that out and then uh one of the guys invited us to like some mopar meetup stuff so i think there's something going on but i don't know we, we gotta look at that oh. finally rolling up here but we got uh we still got a long ways to go to even get in here 
It's about 2.30, so it took us about six and a half hours just to uh, get here, to go 240 miles. So uh, <laughs> obviously we had a few stops and a lot of it was slow going. Um, I think a lot of the cities just weren't prepared for all the cars and they had like uh, cops out trying to help regulate, but that caused a lot of traffic jams it seemed like. So it took a while, but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like otherwise all we're gonna do is go park and melt because it is 97 degrees probably over a hundred, uh, but it's not as humid as yesterday. So it feels better than yesterday for sure, but it's still really, really, really hot. So, but yeah, I'm excited to go uh, check out some cool cars, check out the Memphis, or the, uh, where, where are we at now? Nashville, the Nashville Super Speedway. So never been here, so that'll be cool to check out. Welcome to Nashville Super Speedway, boys. Pretty cool, but yeah, I'm thinking a lot of cars already left because uh, that's definitely not as many cars as yesterday, for sure. But this heat is probably putting a lot of guys out of commission. Because there's pressure, maybe not, but I'll tell you. All right, probably been 30 minutes or so, yeah, almost 30 minutes. And we're just now starting to enter the uh, center part of the Nashville Super Speedway. Yeah, this heat's got a lot of guys pulled over on the side and stuff for what it looks like, so. We'll probably just hang out for whatever, an hour maybe, and then get out of here, get to our hotel. Yeah, so we finally freaking made it in here. It's like a little after three o'clock, so uh, super hot. We got some sunscreen on. We're gonna go walk around, have a look at a few cars. We got the Hellcat all ready to rock. And uh, yeah, but it is, it is hot. Real hot out here. But still lots of cool cars. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Future's here, boys. Check this thing out. Full electric uh, conversion here from Lingenfelter. And an old badass El Camino. That's pretty cool. Let's see what kind of specs we got here. 66 kilowatt. So that's probably five, 600 horsepower, 66 kilowatt. I don't know, that's pretty sweet though. Look at this badass thing, dude. Freaking mid engine Hemi. Damn, dude. Big old Bayer brakes out front, bunch of carbon little bits and pieces. This thing's awesome. This baby just steals my heart, man. Trans slammed. Sick. Look at that thing. All right, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time here. It is only about almost four o'clock, so uh, just too freaking hot, so uh, especially right here walking on this asphalt. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the hotel, which is about 20 minutes away. All right, we're in Lebanon, Tennessee at the beautiful Days Inn, baby. Got some other hot riders here, so that's cool. This guy's got a sweet ride over there. Let's go check in, see how horrible it is. All right, let's hope the Hellcat's still there in the morning. This place actually has a pool that's open, so I think we're gonna go hit the freaking pool because it is hot. Let me show you this uh, This hotel, it's interesting. Let me show Check you. it out, Pops. You look in there yet? No. Oh, baby, she's, hey, listen, listen, I know. When you see this, this high quality fabric here, I mean, you know, it costs 60 bucks a night, but you know, listen, we're rolling cheap. It's just me and Pops. So, good to go. You know, it's, it's good enough for tonight. One night. So, it'll be cool. All right, let's go. Pool 30, baby. Unless anything else cool happens, I'm probably going to end up uh, ending the video right here. So, click, like, subscribe, share. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.